We'll use the dot product to define another concept called the norm. The norm of a vector um, is represented in this way, sort of like an absolute value, except two vertical bars. And the norm of a vector is the square root of the dot product of the vector with itself. That might seem like kind of an odd definition, but it has an extremely concrete meaning. If we have a vector v, then the norm of the vector is its length. If you think of the norm as its length, then some of the properties the norm has will make sense on an intuitive level. The norm of the vector is always greater than or equal to zero because a vector can't have negative length. In general, a vector can't have zero length. The only way a norm can be zero is if the vector is the zero vector. The norm of u plus v is less than or equal to the norm of u plus the norm of v. This is probably less obvious, but the parallelogram rule to the rescue, u plus v is found by taking the vector u and the vector v and putting them tip to tail. The parallelogram rule is therefore, sorry, this rule here is therefore the geometric result that the third side of a triangle is always shorter than the combined lengths of the other two sides. Because of this geometry, this property is called the triangle inequality. Finally, we know that multiplying a vector by a scalar scales its length. The norm of a scalar times v is the absolute value of the scalar times the norm of V.
These properties are all quite important. In fact, just as we did with vector spaces, later towards the end of the class, we're going to take these properties and turn them into a definition. That will wait However, for now, a few stray definitions. A unit vector is a vector with norm one. And the normalization of a vector V is the vector divided by its norm, or scales are multiplied by one divided by the norm, if you want to say that a little more technically. So what the normalization is, it takes V, and it scales it, it either stretches it or it compresses it to give us a new vector that's pointing in the same direction as V, but has a norm of one. So this is the normalization of this. 